Hey guys, I'm coming to you today. I want to review this unit that I have on right now. Um, it's from Love Me Hair. This is the 13 by 6 glueless bob wig. And it's 12 inches long. And I actually previously recorded another video of the unit. Um, of me installing it. I have the ball cap method underneath. And I put a little makeup on it. And I also put some foundation underneath the wig. Um, in my, um, on my lace to cover the knots. But the wig did come pre-bleach. -pre so it was slightly ble bleached when I received it. And the hairline was slightly plucked as well. Um, I went in and plucked a little more. Um, I'm going to pluck some more of the parting space up here. And it's not... I just washed it. This is my second time installing it. I've had it for two weeks. So I just took it off and reinstalled it again. I used the Got To Be Free Spray. Um, these sideburns are my natural sideburns. I'm kind of hairy, my hair... So I usually, if I wear a wig, I'll leave them out. I did, I didn't glue the wig down, but I did, well, I did glue it down, but I used Got To Be Free Spray, not glue glue. And um, what I did was I parted right here and sprayed some free spray, and then I parted back here and sprayed some in the scalp. I don't usually spray it, like lift up the lace and then spray it directly on the lace. So the unit is 12 inches, and I am about 5 five five four so it, it comes right to my neck and um i just washed it so it's a little thicker but with daily use because it's virgin here it will straighten out and um which is a con for me because i like it a little on the fuller note because it looks like blow dried natural hair um this is the part you do get um six inches all the way back of lace that's the one thing that I did notice and I liked about it a lot. That I actually did get full like lace all the way back. I'm going to part through it so you could see some. The sides are not as much. You don't have a lot of lace on the sides. But still it goes back pretty far. Especially along the top. My wig cap is kind of dark which I'm going to... um. Probably wear a lighter one next time. That's what you see showing through slightly. I realize that if I go with a slightly lighter wig cap, it looks it looked better because the one I had on before, I just put this on a few minutes ago. It actually looked good. But let me tell you, so I ordered this with my own money. The wig was about, I believe, 109 or something, 110 But I put in a coupon, which was like 20% or so off. And it ended up coming up to about 99 this is a uh, edge control, edge wax right here. So I use that sometimes to slick it down. But anyway, so my total cost was $97.90 for the hair. I ordered it, let's say on a Monday and I received my wig on a Friday. So it came fairly, fairly quick. Um, one thing I love about it is the hair is very, very soft. I did, um, in the beginning, I didn't notice as much shedding, but I noticed as the days go by, I have been no experiencing and noticing shedding because um, the hubby complains about the hair in the house. So I know it, it, it definitely, I didn't bleach the knots or anything, so I can't say it's from that, but there is minimal shedding, kind of like regular hair shedding. I wouldn't say that it's a lot, but it does shed a little. And um, I cut bangs in, so this wasn't like this. I layered front bangs right here to frame my face and I layered some a little bit on this side too. Um, where's my comb? Well, I'll show you what came with the package. So it came in this box. I think the cover is over there somewhere. So it came in this Love Me Here box, purple box. Hold on. Came in this purple box that said Love Me Here at the top when I got it, UPS delivered it. And I received, there was like a care packet. I know you guys have seen this on a lot of Love Me Here videos, so I'm not gonna spend too much time on this. Um, they did give me two wig caps. I didn't use these wig caps because they're a little too light. I'm thinking maybe I sh should have used them. The one I have underneath is kind of dark. Um, 
I got like this pencil case thing that says love me here, 100% virgin here. And inside of the pencil case was a love me here clip. That's upside down. Some bobby pins. And they also gave me an extra wig on um, band. Now inside of the wig, there was a band already. So um, what I'm going to do with this video is I'm going to insert some video footage that I have of when the wig first came and the unboxing and stuff like that. Um, and I'm going to show you guys what the inside cap construction looks like. I really like the cap construction because it's very soft. The hair is very, very, very um, soft and the lace is soft. The lace was actually a medium brown color. So it was pretty close to my natural color, which where I really didn't have to do too much to it. And um, I didn't trim the hair at all. The only parts that I trimmed was around here in the bang area. And I razor cut that. And a little bit slightly right here along this side. But I really love it. Um, again, this is the 12 inch bob from Love Me Here. Um, this video is not sponsored by Love Me Here, but I really do love this wig. This unit is very lightweight. It feels natural. Being that I use the Got To Be spray, I do go to sleep with it, but um, I'll take it off maybe every five days as it starts. the Got To Be starts to lift. Um, the Got To Be has a pretty good hole, but it's not, you know, it's not too hard, hard of a hold. I like it because it gives me a little bit of flexibility, but... Um, I really, really love this here. I love the natural look. I love, um, you know, just the way it flows. Like when you turn your head, I can shake my head and everything. My natural hair is about this length. So even when I wear it, people kind of have to look twice because they'll think that I'm just wearing my hair and maybe it's blow dried or something. So my natural hair is around this size. So, and like I said, when you wash it, the hair does curl up. It kind of waves up a little bit, although this is straight hair, but it's virgin hair. So, you know, it has the natural wave pattern of the donor. Um, I will order from them again. So that's one thing that I would say that I would order again from them because I really like their customer service. The fact that they shipped as soon as I ordered and I like their hair, like the texture is good. I've ordered from vendors in the past, trust me, and I paid more than that. I think this was really, really cheap. The wig was under $100 with the coupon and they always give you discount codes all the time. Every time I went to their website, I saw a discount code. And I'm gonna admit it took me a while to order from them because I, I kept looking at reviews first and I'm like, I don't wanna order a wig and you know, either it doesn't fit good or the wig is balding. Um, you know what I mean? I've ordered from companies before where that happened. And, you know, I was, I'm very pleased with my purchase. My mom also ordered, not this wig, but she ordered the, uh, uh, I think it was one of their curly wigs, but it was 12 inch. And she's very, very satisfied with her purchase as well. And, um, I really, really like it. I like it a, a lot. I'm going to try to turn around so you can see the back. I didn't flat iron it all the way out, but you kind of get the picture. So that's the back. So you can kind of see my little layering going on right here in the front. Oh, and, and I don't know if I mentioned in the other clip, I did not, um, the hair came in like a natural brown color. And I'm not a really aware of brown hair. I like my hair to be jet black, black. So I did color the wig um, before I installed it. And I used Revlon Color Silk Jet Black Dye. I used actually two bottles. And um, I colored it first on a mannequin head. And after I colored it, I let it air dry, blowed it out a little bit. And then I um, installed it. So I'm going to just let you see the root again. Let me just let you see some of this. Before I go, so here's some of the parting space. You can see the scalp. You can see scalp right here. The wig came with a middle part. If I didn't mention that before, it did come with a middle part and I parted it to the side. 
I prefer a side part than a middle part. I'm a side part kind of gal. Anyway, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video and give it a thumbs up. Again, Soy Sweet 99 And I will come to you with an update on this unit to let you know exactly how it withstood the test of time. Okay, thank you. Bye. Oh my gosh. I'm going to cut the lace off in a minute. I might try to dye it darker down the line. It's shorter than I thought, but it's fine. It's a bob. See? When I put it on, I'll show you. You see the scalp right there? It's soft. And all this stuff came with it right here. These clips it comes with a tweezer, it comes with an extra band, but on the inside, the band is already connected. See, inside the cap. The hair is very, very soft though. You can tell that it's virgin hair. Good, good quality human hair.